by the end of this video, I will show you how to apply inverse kinematics to a rig. So right now, as you can see over here, I have um, I rigged this character fully, but not inverse kinematically. So this has forward kinematics right now, and in this video, I will show you how to apply inverse kinematics to it. So if you're not on the stage yet, I have a video that shows you how to rig this character. You can go to my profile and check that out. And then once you're done, come back to this video and we can continue from there. So, I will, sh I will tell you how to apply inverse kinematics in this video. Before we get started, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and share it to anyone who needs help with inverse kinematics. So, I'm not going to repeat inverse kinematics over and over again. I'm going to say IK because that is the abbreviation of it. So, to um, add IK to this, um, there's very simple. But before we start to do that, I'm going to show you the difference between forward kinematics and inverse kinematics. So, in object mode over here, I'm going to move the 3D cursor over here. I'm just going to add a new armature. You don't have to do this demonstration. And in edit mode, I'm going to extrude out three bones. Then I'm going to do the same, I'm going to do the same thing over here. Shift A. And then in edit mode, extrude out like that. So right now, as we can see, they are they both are different armatures, okay? All three of them. I'm just going to demonstrate on these two. Uh, on this bone, I'm going to select this bone in, in object mode. Go in pose mode. And then, this is forward kinematics, okay? If we rotate this bone, it will rotate the bones in front of it. Because this is the parent of these two bones. That is what's forward kinematics. Forward. It will, it will rotate and do anything the same that the parent does. So if I rotate, rotate this bone... It will only rotate the one itself and the bone in front of it. And then like that. So you actually have to move all three of the bones to get to this specific um, pose. So now I will show you what's the, what's the difference between forward kinematics and inverse, inverse kinematics. So I'm going to apply a IK bone to this. Okay, so I'm going to go back into object mode. Go into pose mode of this. But first I'm going to need to extrude out a bone. This will be the IK bone. This will um, be the bone that controls all three of these bones. Then, so what we're going to do is that we're going to do Alt P to clear the parent, so then it's not going to be parented to it like that. We're going to rename this bone so we know it, what's called. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to name it Demo IK like that. And we're going to apply the um, bone constraints on this bone, the one next to it. So go into pose mode, it only works in pose mode. In bone constraints, inverse kinematics, target is going to be the armature number two. Then this bone, and make sure the chain length is two three because there's three bones as you can see there. Now, if we move this bone, as you can see, it controls all three of the bones like that. You only have to move one bone for it to move all three of them because this is inversely kinematic. Um, inversely kinematic to get that position doesn't need to move one bone and as you can see if you do it like that it goes to the exact same position just moving one bone like that and that is the difference between forward kinematics and inverse kinematics now we're going to apply it to this rig to go back into object mode and delete both of them let's go over here first of all we're going to do the hand so over here I'm gonna I'm going to go into edit mode of this armature over here going to extrude out a bone this will be the hand IK bone for this and that so now we're going to do is that we are just going to rename this bone first of all it's going to be hand hand IK dot L I remember it's, it's the left side of the uh, um, real body from this guy's perspective. So, hand ik.l, like that. Then, next, we have to just clear the parent. We need to always clear the parent because then it won't work. Then, in then we go into pose mode. We're going to put the bone constraint on this bone right here. Inverse kinematics. And it's always the same process. And always make sure that um the this um the chain length is always set to what you want because if it's zero then it's always going to go to the root bone over here 
but we're gonna set it to two and it's mostly it's going to be the same for you guys unless it's some kind of weird, weird creature you're um, in West kinematically rigging it's going to be two because there's two bones over here in the arm so now if you grab your ik bone in purse mode do you to grab you can now um pose the arm by only moving one bone like that that is really awesome now if you wanted to move the um hand bone as well like rotate it around right now you can't do that but if you wanted to do that first of all reset the um, ik bone location by doing alt g in post mode then go into edit mode select this shift select the ik bone alt p i mean control p to keep um to parent it right now so now if we go into pose mode you can grab it like that move it like that and then you can rotate the hand and then you can do everything with only one bone. Now, obviously, if you wanted to post the fingers, you have to do that individually because fingers are very tiny. That's kind of impossible to do. So now we have done that and that looks kind of cool. So now we're going to do the same thing and apply it to the other hand like that. First of all, Alt, G and R to reset the location and rotation IK bone. And do the same thing over here. We are going to look at the target bone later because first of all we need to understand how that um over here as you can see here i want you to understand how the target bone the high key bones work then i'll show you how to do the pole target um later in this video so do the same thing over here go into edit mode and then we are going to put the ik bone right over here then in top view we're going to e to extrude it like that then alt p to clear the parent and then what we're going to do is that we are going to put a bone constraint on this bone right here in pose mode. Like that. Inverse kinematics. Target is going to be the armature. And we forgot to rename this. Um, hand IK. Make sure um, you do it properly. Because when you come back to this, you don't want it to be messy. So hand ik dot r like that. So we're gonna go back into edit mode of this over here in pose mode. Then we're gonna find that bone hand ik dot r, and like that we have done that. Change that to two, and that's going to be the gig. That's gonna give us the same result. And then lastly, we're gonna quickly um, parent it to that bone, and now. In pose mode, if you're going to pose mode, demonstrate, you can grab it and rotate it like that. So that is awesome. Now I'm going to go over the target bone. So the target bone is going to be um, controlling the like the um, the joints of the bone. So first of all, I'm just going to quickly go into edit mode and select this bone right here. E to extrude out like that. Alt P to clear the parent. I'm gonna grab this and move it across like that. This is going to be the target bone. We're gonna rename it to um arm target dot L. And we are just going to go over here in pose mode. Add over here in pole target is going to be the armature and bone is going to be um arm target dot L. Now, as you can see, this arm um, has rotated a little bit. So, as you can see, we need to, um, so, it needs to be minus 90 degrees. Because whenever you do a pole target, the arm rotates. It kind of rotates, and if you do it on the legs as well, it will rotate as well. So, it's always going to be minus 90, 90, 180, negative 180. You just have to mess around with it until your arms are straight. So, like that. So once we have done that, it will probably work now. So before, just save this quickly because then you don't want to lose everything. Now I'll show you how it works. So in pose mode, if you grab this, grab this like that, like that. And you want to move this like over here. You grab this and you move this. As you can see, this is controlling this joint over here. If you move this like that, it's joint um, controlling it. So that is what um, the target pole does. It controls the location of the arm. 
like that. That is an irregular position, so if you want it to be more natural, you probably just rotate the hand like that and then move the target bone like that. But that is that is for another video. I'm just showing you how to put in rest kinematics to it. So I was going to clear the rotation and uh, um, location and the same for this. So once we have done that, we're going to do the same thing over here. So back into edit mode, grab this E to extrude out in top view. Make it a bit straight, grab the bone, select it, Alt, P, clear the parent, G to grab it across, move it like that. Rename the bone to um, arm target dot R. And then what we're going to do is that we're just going to do the same thing, obviously. In pose mode we go, and then the object's going to be the armature, and then the bone going to be the arm target dot R. So it will do the same thing. So now we are going to do it. So we're, going to, we're going to apply inverse kinematics to the legs. So we're going to extrude outer bone over here. It's going to be the foot IK bone. Rename it to foot IK dot. L. And then we are going to add a bone constraint to this one. So in pose mode, we are going to go over here, add bone constraint, inverse kinematics, target is going to be armature, and that's going to be um, foot IK dot L. So now, as you can see, it does this um, weird pose. Kind of looks cool at the same time. It's just because our chain length is zero, change that to two or how, however many bones still on your legs so I'm change that to two and it's going to go back to normal like that now if you see your bones going to be what um normal as you can see and it's kind of glitching because we haven't set a target bone otherwise it's just going to glitch so we're going to do that right now so we're going to be over here in edit mode you're gonna this is going to be the joint and for the legs we're gonna put it in front e to extrude out Alt P to clear the parent, and I also think that it's kind of um, um, what you call it um, bugging out is that it's probably because we had it clear the parent, so it's probably gonna work right now as well. So clear Alt P to clear the parent already did that. Then we're gonna grab it and move it over here. It's going to be the target pole for this bone. So rename it to target pole. For the leg dot dot l like that so over here we're back to go i'm going to go back to pose mode and then it's going to be armature and target bone dot there so now if we try it in pose mode i hope it works grab as you can see it is working and as you can see it does this weird rotation and it has something to do with the um bone but as you can see, if you do it like this, it just goes that way. And it's not meant to. It's just because our bones are not straight and they're not bent. So I'll just fix that right now. So as you can see, we need to um, move this bone in edit mode a bit forward. Otherwise, it doesn't know where to bend. So move that a bit forward and do the same over here to move that a bit forward like that. And now when we do it, first of all, we have to reapply the armature. So go back into object mode, select this, shift select that, Alt Control P with automatic weights, and then they'll recalculate everything. Then now, if you go into pose mode and then grab this, it should work. Look at that. And then this controls where this is pointing at. So if you move this, it moves with that. Awesome. Now, lastly, we're going to do the same thing for that bone that other leg let's quickly do that and then finally you will be able to inversely kin kinematically inverse kinematically rig this character i hope that's a word i think i just made that up anyways e to extrude this rename it foot foot ik dot dot r dot r then we're just going to go over here in pose mode in pose mode 
add a bone constraint inverse kinematics. Target is going to be armature, and the bone is going to be the one that we just renamed for Takeda R. Then we are just going to, as you can see, it did that weird pose again. Chain length to two is going to go back to normal. Then we're just going to go back into edit mode. E to extrude out the target pole. Alt P to clear the parent, and I forgot to do that again. Alt P to clear the parent over here. G Y move it over across there. Scale it down so it kind of matches the other target pole. That that rename it to target pole leg dot r and then we're gonna go over here in edit pose mode then we're going to target the pole target is going to be the armature and the bonus is going to be the target pole dot r and as you can see it kind of did this weird rotation it normally happens with the um, pole target just quickly change that to um, 180 degrees and i think it probably happened with this bone i don't think it did yeah it's fine it's calm so that is done. Just control S, save your file. As you can see, we have finally rigged your character with inverse kinematics. Now, now it's going to be um very, very easy to animate and post. So if you want to get a if you want to have a new full tutorial to how to animate this character, um comment down below if you want that. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new like the video and share it to anyone who needs help with the kinematics. So I hope you I see you in another video.